But your focus is empty, tunnel vision, they damn me up. My beautiful chub chubs, welcome back to my channel, Road Chubness here, hello. So, if you have been following me on my social medias, you are aware of Miss Cleo Denial and the fact that I used a Skull to Me Seekers locker to create uh, a closet for her. Now, this is Laguna's. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate this same closet, but with Cleo's locker, and then fill this up with Laguna stuff. And I'm going to take you on a how-to process and crafting session to create this locker. I use these as display for the dolls, so I hang them up on the walls, and now I found a better way to use any extra ones that I don't have any space on the walls for because it's completely cluttered with posters drawings and whatnot. We're gonna take Cleo's locker and we're gonna convert it into a closet for her. By the way, I do not have any Monster High hangers, so I'm pretty sure Rainbow High hangers will work just fine. If you do have any, let's see the materials that we will need. Of course you're gonna need the scissors, a glue gun. This nothing. This is nothing fancy. If you don't have this, I think these are, these are vine cutters. Yeah, if you don't have any of this, don't worry, you can still use the scissors. This is going to be a lot easier for me to cut the skewer, a wooden dowel or a skewer or uh, a pick, a kebab skewer, you know what I mean, one of these little wood things. Any color, acrylics, a flap of a cardboard box. I'm re I reuse my stuff because I do have a lot of cardboard on the side in case I do like future projects, but... It's already black, so I just like to keep this on the top, and I just paint this part here. And of course, your locker. My, my niece and nephew removed this, the part that goes here. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this would be a perfect window for, for like, a little hidden closet. So I'm like, I took it out, I, I left it out, and then I took this part out. And it's super easy. This is all cardboard here. Again, if you want to save this, you can save this, or you can leave it in the back like this. It'll be like a perfect background wallpaper type of deal, but I like mine to be cohesive with the entire box. I'll just carefully remove this, which reveals a little like padded background, which is really cute. I kind of like it, but yeah, I take it out and then I take the doors. The doors are really easy to remove. All you have to do is this. And it comes out and if you don't want if you and if you want to go back to putting these they're really easy there's like these little brackets there that you just hook on one side and hook on the other and it'll be perfectly done but we're going to remove all of these and then i'm going to flip the camera and then we're going to get started on how to craft a closet out of the school to my secret locker i'm excited so the first things first i'm the realist no not that okay cleo azalea so the first thing we're going to do is remove all of this stuff as a matter of fact no scratch that let's go ahead and craft the locker let me remove this part these are going to serve as as shelves and then we're going to create one over here using this beautiful cardboard piece and this is where you have to measure it i usually just map it out let's see I'm gonna cut it right here hopefully that's where I need to cut if not I can adjust it I can't cut too much dang it no actually I think it's fine because it's gonna hang on that one part why is it like that oh okay I think I did cut it too, too small Okay, so I cut it at an angle. Here's you. Here's you have to come, go back and forth and measure it to make sure you are doing it. And I think this is right. Yep, this is perfect. I cut it wide enough, and if it's too wide, I just keep cutting it until it's perfect. Uh, you can use any type of you. Can, you can use poster board. You can use any type of thing as long as it's sturdy. You can also you can actually just stack this up to make it even more sturdier. Uh, these are doll accessories, and they don't really weigh that much, so you'll be perfectly fine. Now let's measure it. Uh, a little bit more. Let's see. This should be good. We should be able to close it. Looks like it's good. It closes. There's nothing stopping the door from closing, so... We're good. The way that I do it so that the, sh that the shelf can stick, I just hot glue like a straight line here, let that dry to serve as a support for the shelf. Okay, so here's where we're going to map it out. I'm going to do the line at least so that it could be straight. 
right around. There. I think that's about right. Now I'm gonna wait for my glue gun to heat up and then I'm going to just glue a line here going all the way to the end here. I kind of like how this looks like a bed. Now that our heat gun is heated, we're going to glue the ends here making sure we stick to that one line we do Ooh. no 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 take your time with this don't do as i do because i kind of like messed it up there a little bit let's see if i can move this down a little bit it's it's cold i'm just gonna move it down there we go there we go so that's gonna serve as a support for the shelf and let me just make sure It doesn't fall over. Yep, there you go. See, it's coming out. It's coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I'm gonna add some support in the back because I think I glue. I put glue too high, and so the shelf doesn't really match up with this part. I'm just gonna glue it. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue it. Be a lot easier to glue it. It wasn't leveled, and that was my fault because I did it this way without actually like focusing. Keep an eye on this and make sure that the shelf aligns with this part all the way across. This side of the shelf falls on top of this, and you'll have support there. So I fixed it. So far, I fixed it. Now with the skewer, maybe like right here. It doesn't all have to be the same. It could be different. So I'm gonna place it around here. I'm gonna map it out. You can use scissors, or again, you can use this uh, garden tool to cut the, the the wooden dowel. But that's totally up to you. So for Cleo, I'm gonna paint it gold. So with the skewer, you're going to glue the ends first before putting it into the box. And I have to do this really, really fast because it dries up. Make sure both ends are covered in the glue. And you're gonna go in there. You're gonna go in there. Um, did I mark it? I don't think I marked it. Dang it. All right, I'm just gonna go in there. It was so sticky. There we have it. There's it. I need to f clean this up a little bit over here because I did make a mess. But you get you get the idea. This is why I don't craft. I don't craft because. <laughs> It, it's always a mess. Basically, Chubbs, that's all. That's all I did. I'm not, a, I'm not a good crafter, but I try. I try. And I just checked, but if you have, like, the rainbow dollhouse, you can actually fit these closets inside the dollhouse. Or you can use them as display. However, whatever fancies your boat, you know? So we're going to add all, Cleo, all the items that Cleo come with. This is her backpack. Ooh, is it going to be okay? Yeah, it's going to be okay. Her sunglasses. Actually, I can just put it here. No, I put it down here. I put her other bag up here. That's cute. Her boots. These boots are cute. I never liked them in the in the beginning, but they kind of grew on me. These were her core boots. Put them in there. And luckily I bought a lot that the seller included this makeup kit so uh, i do have cleo's makeup just laying around here somewhere or i can use this as jewelry i mean i do have one here this yeah put her makeup in here i'm gonna place it in here her little jewelry i'm gonna place it Ooh here this is why we need more makeup boxes for them I'm gonna put the, this item also came with a doll that I bought from a seller who ended up gifting this part it belongs to I guess her uh, G1 playset I put her drink here come on why are you doing this to me? These are her food and ice cream that she comes with her other dolls that come with. I'm just gonna place them in there. <laughs> Cause I know that we, we, we would have snacks in our closet. Don't lie to me. To her other jewelry. 
her cell phone, which I'm pretty sure she'll carry it, but I'm going to put it here to keep it in her closet. These shoes belong to Corey Cruz from the Wild Hearts crew, and surprisingly, it fits, it fits her really well. It's a little snug, but it stretches enough for her to wear, so more shoes, the merrier. We got her other gladiator sandals, the rainbow high hangers. Now, I wish they were all gold, but unfortunately, I can't find them, so these will do. Oh, they kind of peep out here, but it's fine. And these are everything, these are all her clothes that I had in the container. The Jayaki. And then this top. I had to turn on the flash because I don't know what's going on with my ring light. But here is the last piece that I have of her clothing. I'm gonna stuff it in there. And when you're done, you just close it. Easy as that. Boom. And just like that, you have your own Cleo closet. And no lie, Chubbs, you can actually display Cleo in a shelf with a closet looking like this. And all of her pieces will be there. You can add more clo uh, clothes to the rack, making it a lot more useful for all of the items that she comes with and now you don't you can organize and not have a lot of clutter which is amazing before we get started on laguna i want to be honest with you i had issues with the rack i would push the rack a little bit back so that way it'll leave a lot of room for the hangers so it doesn't get in the way of you closing it or just that these hangers are just too bulk are too wide for these doll for for basically this type of set because what i was using before are these little hangers that come with claudine and as you can see there is a huge difference in size so i just wanted to be open and tell you that i was having issues closing the door because of because of the the, the hangers but most likely i'm just going to keep the door open and have cleo pose you know in front of her closet I just wanna I just wanted to say that. Now to do now let's do Lagunas. Laguna na 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 como la la laguna na na na. Here's Laguna. I also have to find Neptuna. I'm telling you, I never knew these dolls came with so much stuff. I literally thought it was just like one, two, three, and I'm digging for Laguna stuff. And it's a lot of crap. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I managed to find the things that I needed to place into her locker. And so far, I think I can fit them all. I think I can fit them all. We got this. So, now some of these clothes I did find, these are from Creatable World. It, they do fit Laguna and her aesthetic. So, I'm glad that we have, I, I found more clothing options for her. But just in case if anybody sees it and be like, oh, where did, where did I get that, that skirt? That skirt's from the Creatable World dolls. Uh, her shawl place it there like look at this she comes with so many of these little snacks and drinks and i'm like okay laguna i see you she likes to stack up on these snacks just like me luckily in the house that i live that i live with my partner we don't do this but my family had a tendency of like hiding food from me and so i decided to like it whenever i wanted to get like a little snack here and there I would buy myself one and I would just put it in my closet um, because, you know, they they thought they thought I was eating all of their food. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to go ahead and buy my snacks and just put it in the closet. But that's why I'm like, you know, everybody has a stash of their favorites in their closet. And that's perfectly OK. <laughs> um, I guess we can put our sunglasses here. I still have not found Neptuna. Gosh, my fingers are too big for this. And that's perfectly okay. Her flask, because she's a... Is that how the, the, the Visco girls are? You know what I mean. Her little Say the Turtles. Uh, I do have this little mask, and I did find one of the earrings. I'm going to put her mask here. Which, it doesn't make any sense to keep a creepy mask like that, but... Hey... It works, it works. All right, I found more stuff and I still could not find her phone or nor Neptuna. Don't know where they are. Laguna, I need to find myself those little pinchers that most like miniature collectors 
be having where they just put stuff like that and they don't have to wor- risk like their fingers bumping into like their mini mini things. Uh, I found some earrings, which I think I have three of these. I painted one of them here with her tuna, her her tuna wrap. <laughs> oh, it blends in anyways, but <clears throat> keep it there. Again, this is just the this is the alternative since I don't have a lot of Monster High hangers. But if you do have Barbie, even better. I know that they are smaller in scale. And will leave a lot more room to close the the closet. If you really if you like me building up closet like this, let me know. I have a I have quite a few and other char characters that I need to build uh, the closets for. I would not mind doing a series of videos building up closets. One I'm I'm waiting for Torlai for Skultimate Secrets Torlai, so I can use her closet and all her pieces to build her a closet but I do have enough to do Draculauras, Claudines, and Frankie but Frankie's my favorite and I do have doubles of Frankies so I, I, I don't think I will make a closet for them because I don't have like pieces but I can definitely build just for the future purposes now I definitely need to buy more rainbow high hangers but I don't think I'm going to use them Anytime soon. Can I put this here? But I did not realize how much items these dolls come with. And of course, down here you can add some shoes. Ugh, why? Why are you so flimsy? I'm telling you, I'm having the worst, the worst time with these mini minis. They stressing me out. You're not supposed to stress me out. You're supposed to comfort me. Why do you keep falling? Are you kidding? Stop. Why is it so wobbly? Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna leave the lip gloss like that because I'm, I'm, I'm done. And there we have it. We're done. We're done. <laughs> I tried looking for her phone and Neptuna. I can't find them. My goodness. One thing I want to say is, guys, have fun with it. I know it could, I know crafting can be very stressful, but just, just enjoy. Enjoy your time. Take your time. And you don't have to know what to do. You just got to map it up in your, in your brain and just do it and just practice. Because that's how I, I just thought of, I just thought about it. And I'm like, I don't think this is going to work. But look, it works. Um, so yeah, I will be displaying them like this in my shelves. Once I find Neptuna, I'll definitely put them with Laguna. Um, Cleo's, Cleo's companion is like right there. But yes, I hope you enjoyed it, chubs. That was fun. I enjoyed myself. Something about crafting is just, it seems very peaceful. Take your time with things that you want to do. If you haven't crafted and have a desire to craft, do it. Like. I, I believe we have to start from somewhere and like you don't have to be a hundred percent good at crafting that comes with the skill and the talent and honestly my mistakes are those beautiful mistakes and as you can see I have no knowledge zero knowledge of crafting but I just go in it I think about it I'm like this could be like a support little thing so I'm gonna use this as a support and stuff like that but I had so much fun I, I don't mind doing other closets if this is something that you enjoy doing I mean I, I would do another one because I did enjoy uh, recording and and building closets with you guys but yeah that's how I did it take your time practicing you don't fully have to go my route you can get experimental the whole point of arts and craft is that you can make it your own and so yeah i had a lot i had so much fun and then what a what a great way to to reuse lockers without you know having to put them mounting them on the wall and stuff like that so i had fun and hopefully when i do another series i can definitely show you how i have them displayed so that you can have like a like an idea but i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comments i don't mind answering the questions or i will leave them for another video where i can answer them for you there with all that being said chubs we have made it to the end of the video i know i'm sad but you never know i might end up popping up again 
that's how much I'm loving making these videos. But I really, I'm really thankful that you took time to watch the video and made it this far. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Hector, the adult doll collector, and I'm just a chub, you know, taking you on their journey. If you would like to be part of the chub fam, all you have to do is subscribe, you know, so you can see more videos or just ring the little doorbell and it'll notify you when I upload a video and you'll be the first to know it. I mean, I'm starting to get the hang of doing all these these videos and just enjoying it. I do these videos for you and, and to inspire people. So if I could do it, you can do it. For all of my chubs, thank you so much for all the love and the support you have been giving me in this content. Just know that I appreciate you so much. And just remember, buy what makes you happy, get what makes you happy, and take your time on collecting and also when you're crafting. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Who are you going to rush for? You have a date? Take your time. And with all that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Adios!